Launched in 1977, NASA's Voyager 1 began its journey as a bold experiment, but no one imagined it would become the most distant human-made object in history. What was planned as a short exploration mission slowly transformed into a legendary voyage that continues to inspire scientists and dreamers around the world. Even after more than four decades, Voyager 1 keeps proving that smart engineering can outlast time itself. Today, Voyager 1 is traveling through interstellar space, a region far beyond the influence of our sun. Despite being older than modern computers, smartphones, and even cassette players, the spacecraft still communicates with Earth. This alone feels unbelievable, considering the extreme cold, radiation, and silence of deep space that constantly threaten its systems. The spacecraft was built during a time of rotary phones and analog televisions, when digital technology barely existed. Engineers relied on simplicity, durability, and careful planning. They knew repairs would never be possible, so everything had to work perfectly from the start. That mindset helped Voyager survive conditions no human-made machine had ever faced before. What makes Voyager 1 even more impressive is that it was never alone. Voyager 2 launched just 15 days earlier, and together they took advantage of a rare planetary alignment. This alignment happens only once every 176 years, making the timing of the mission extremely special. Missing it would have delayed similar exploration for generations. This rare setup allowed the spacecraft to use a technique called gravity assist, where planets like Jupiter and Saturn boosted the Voyager's speed. Instead of burning massive amounts of fuel, they used the planet's gravity like cosmic slingshots. This brilliant path was discovered by NASA engineer Gary Flandro, whose calculations changed space exploration forever. Without this alignment, reaching Neptune alone could have taken more than 30 years. Thanks to gravity assist, Voyager 2 reached it in just 12 years. Scientists often say this mission is proof that math and timing can unlock the universe more effectively than raw power alone. Originally, the mission was designed to last only four years. Engineers hoped the spacecraft would survive long enough to visit Jupiter and Saturn. No one expected them to keep working for more than 45 years, sending back data that continues to reshape our understanding of space. The first major shock came at Jupiter. Scientists were stunned when Voyager discovered that Io, one of Jupiter's moons, had active volcanoes. This was the first time volcanic activity had ever been observed beyond Earth. It completely changed the belief that distant moons were dead and lifeless. Another surprise was Europa, a moon covered in ice with strange cracks on its surface. Voyager data suggested a liquid ocean beneath the ice, raising exciting questions about the possibility of alien life. Many scientists today believe Europa may be one of the best places to search for life beyond Earth. In 1986, Voyager 2 reached Uranus, revealing a tilted planet with extreme seasons and mysterious moons. Then in 1989, it became the first and only spacecraft to fly by Neptune, capturing images of giant storms, dark spots, and powerful winds. These discoveries forced scientists to rewrite textbooks almost overnight. For the first time, theories were replaced with real data. Scientists could now see how planets and moons actually behaved, rather than guessing from Earth. Voyager turned science fiction into science fact, expanding our view of the solar system in ways no telescope could. Today, Voyager 1 is more than 24 billion kilometers from Earth farther than early mission estimates. Even at this distance, it still sends valuable scientific information. The signals are incredibly weak, powered by just 23 watts, roughly the same as a refrigerator light bulb. These signals are captured by NASA's Deep Space Network, a group of massive antennas located around the world. It takes more than 22 hours for a signal to travel one way. When scientists send a command, they must wait nearly two days to know if it worked. 
Many scientists describe working with Voyager as communicating with the past. Every message is delayed, and every response feels precious. Dr. Linda Spilker, a Voyager scientist, once said that receiving data from Voyager is like opening a letter from a distant explorer, never knowing what surprise might be inside. To reach the outer planets, the Voyagers had to pass through the asteroid belt, once thought to be extremely dangerous. Earlier missions like Pioneer 10 and 11 showed it was possible, but Voyager confirmed that the belt was far less crowded than feared. This discovery reduced anxiety for future deep space missions. One of the most humbling facts is Voyager's memory. Each spacecraft has only 69 kilobytes of storage, far less than what a single photo requires today. A basic smartphone is millions of times more powerful. Yet Voyager continues to function because it was designed to be efficient and reliable, not flashy. Voyager can make limited decisions on its own. This autonomy is essential because waiting for instructions from Earth would take too long. Data is recorded on tape recorders, then transmitted slowly back to Earth. These old systems still work because they were built to survive decades, not years. In 2012, Voyager 1 crossed the boundary known as the Heliopause, officially entering interstellar space. Scientists expected the magnetic field direction to change, but instead they observed something unexpected. The field stayed aligned, while plasma density increased, confusing researchers. Dr. Edward Stone, the former Voyager project scientist, explained that this discovery challenged existing models of how the solar system interacts with interstellar space. He said it proved that space is far more complex than previously believed, and that Voyager was rewriting science even at the edge of the sun's influence. Another deeply human element of the mission is the Golden Record, designed with help from Carl Sagan. This record carries sounds of Earth, music from different cultures, greetings in 55 languages, and images of life on our planet. Carl Sagan famously described the Golden Record as a bottle thrown into the cosmic ocean. It was not meant as a message of pride, but of humility. It shows who we were, hoping that someday, someone or something might find it and understand that Earth once existed. Today, both voyagers are heading toward the Oort cloud, a distant region filled with icy bodies believed to be the source of many comets. Scientists estimate it will take thousands of years to reach it. Even when Voyager stops transmitting, it will continue drifting through space for millions of years. Long after Earth changes, Voyager will remain as a quiet witness to human curiosity and courage. Scientists often say Voyager proves that when humans combine imagination, patience, and precision, we can achieve the impossible. It is not just a spacecraft, but a symbol of exploration, hope, and discovery. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.